Hey guys, how y'all doing and welcome back to another Borderlands a pre-sequel guide. Now in this video I'm going to show you guys how to edit your badass rank and your stats using the old Borderlands pre-sequel editor. So what I'm going to do now guys is jump onto the PC. Alright, so now we're on the PC, I just want to quickly mention that I got a few questions on my last guide about, hey, can we do this for Xbox, and I think it is possible, but me not playing console, I don't actually know how to transfer that file onto the PC in the first place. So for me, it's strictly for PC, but if you guys can find a guide, then link it to me and I will make a video from it. That'd be awesome. But anyway, what you want to do is download the program Borderlands 2 Profile Editor like I did in my last video. And then what you want to do is open that up, as usual, and... Open your profile for on the Borderlands pre sequel. So what you'll do is file open and mine is already in it because I've already used it. If you haven't used it yet, what you want to do is click on documents, go into my games, then into Borderlands the pre sequel, Willow Game, Save Data, into the one with the weird numbers, which is your save file data, and then you'll find your profile. Click open and here will be all your stats. Now one thing we've already done and if you missed the guide on how to change your golden keys, it's as simple as just changing it right there. Uh, I wouldn't do anything too crazy in case Shift does monitor it because obviously it is a new game. But what we're focusing on is badass rank. Now what you can do is you can actually change that to whatever you want. However the only thing is I wouldn't do that straight away as what will happen is you could put that as 10,000 but then you'll get tons of points to spend which would just be awkward so what I actually would do is say you want to change your gun damage so you want to do insane damage and health so let's go for health we click on there we can change that to 1000% so if you put 1000.0 because sometimes it bugs if you don't put the decimal as it says hey this isn't legit so you can put a thousand you can go all the way down and find gun damage or whatever you want and let's put a thousand on that as well now one thing I do want to mention guys is if you haven't completed the game yet I wouldn't recommend doing this as it does kind of ruin the campaign's experience but yeah I mean it's up to you guys so anyway what you do once you've done that is click file and save what it should come up with is this profile data saved and you are done so guys let's jump back onto the game and see if it has worked Alright, so now we're back on the game, guys. I'm going to click continue on my Athena class, which is level 29, I think. I'm not too sure. And we're going to jump in and see if it worked. And immediately, guys, you should notice that my health has gone up from being like 2,000 all the way up to being 20,000 health. Now, if we go in here and go across to your badass rank, as you can see, that has stayed the same. Obviously, like I said, you can mod it, but you'll end up with a ridiculous amount of tokens that you'd have to sit there going, yeah, max health. Uh, grenade damage or whatever, but if you look in the stats guys, you'll notice that my health is 1000 and oh no, sorry 1000.1% 1 so it does work guys and the damage does work I would prove it to you, but there really isn't any need um, Test it for yourselves. Anyway guys the link for the program will be in the description Thank you for watching. Please be sure to hit a like button if you did find this helpful and I will see you all later. Peace